Talk about money. Oh, every time, I mean, they pass out. Uh, some churches pass make two offerings. It's amazing. <laughs> well, you're, you're blessed to be in the Episcopal Church because normally, and if this was a normal Episcopal Church and you had a normal Episcopal priest, <laughs> if you missed one Sunday in October, just one, you would never hear us talk about money again. But you don't have a normal priest. <laughs> and you don't have a normal stewardship committee. And they have decided that for eight weeks, we're going to talk about stewardship, but don't worry, I'm not going to preach on stewardship all eight weeks, though I will today. Mark Madden, if you please come forward, there'll be a different person talking about stewardship each Sunday, and if you see in your uh, bulletins the little orange piece of paper, there you go, and you need to be the lecture, if you will. Our theme is stewardship is worship. And each week we're taking one of the letters from that word worship and focusing on that. And we're asking you all to fill in those cards, the words that come to your mind that begin with W regarding stewardship. But before you fill it out, don't worry, you can do it while I'm preaching. Please listen. Thank you, Father. Good morning. Good morning. So I've been tasked with the idea of um, adding my words to this document. And I want to share those with you after some reflection. Um, the first word I luckily get starts with W, and that's the word worship. And the definition that I apply to the word worship is putting God first. Putting God first. Especially when we say, I believe, putting God first. The next two words that I thought about, and, and I'll write on my orange card, are works and walk. So you know at the end of the uh, service sometimes we have a concluding prayer that says do all such good works as God has prepared for us to walk in. So that word walk, those experiences in our lives that offer opportunities for us to be like Christ. And works, when I think of the word works, I think of the, the uh, spiritual and corporal works of mercy only because I went to seminary for a lot of time and memorize it. Um, but what are they? Spiritual, instruct, advise, console, comfort, forgive, bear wrongs patiently, pray for someone. And the corporal works, things that we would do like Christ would do, feed the hungry, shelter the homeless, clothe the naked, visit the sick, visit the imprisoned, bury the dead. So those are two more words that I think about when I think of worship and stewardship that began with W. And two more, wonder and what. And I put them inside some questions. I actively wonder what gifts I have received from God in the forms of time, talent, and treasure. I really stress the word actively here. Think about that. Actively wonder what those what those gifts are. And then the last word, what? What do I do with all that I have after I say I believe? So I challenge you to think about those things on the next few Sundays as we um, move toward our stewardship efforts. I do want to add one more, and this is a conversation I had with my wife this morning, who's in New Arizona, visiting her mom. She said, don't forget the word wonton. Wonton. I said, wonton, tell me about wonton. And she said, well, think about wonton. It's a pastry. That's your time, talent, and treasure. And inside that pastry is the filming. And that's worship. That's your belief in God. And you wrap your time, talent, and treasure around your belief in God. So think one time as well. Thank you. That's a big analogy. Thank you, Mark. All right, I don't need to preach stewardship today. I think Donna just did. Uh, as we prepare for the reading from Jeremiah, you'll notice again that there are bold parts in all the readings. Those are your parts to read. But listen to the words of Jeremiah. And you see that creation is being reversed. God looked over the darkness 
and the void and the chaos and brought light and order to it. In this reading, darkness comes. Creation is reversed. It's a warning. I'll be so glad when we're finished with Jeremiah. But he's never finished with us. Our reading is from Jeremiah, the fourth chapter, verses 11 to 12, 22 to 28. At that time, it will be said to this people and to Jerusalem, a hot wind comes from me out of the bare heights in the desert toward my poor people, not to winnow or cleanse, a wind too strong for that. Now it is I who speak in judgment against them. For my people are foolish. They do not know me. They are stupid children. They have no understanding. They are skilled in doing evil. But they do not know how to do it. I looked on the earth, and lo, it was waste and void. Because he judged me faithful and appointed me to his service, even though I was. 
was formerly a blasphemer, a lucrative persecutor, and a man of violence. But I received mercy because I had acted ignorantly in unbelief. And the grace of our Lord overflowed for me with the faith and love that are in Jesus Christ. The same is sure Honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The word of the Lord. 